Hi YouTube, it's Joe here. It's uh, Monday morning and I'm just doing a quick roundup of the sales over the weekend and a little update on the match tax cards that I picked up. Um, yeah, not a particularly good weekend, um, but not not bad. So it's one or two nice sales, but I'll just show you what I sold. And um, I was pleased to get rid of a few things. Got rid of these uh, Nike Air Max. I paid a couple of quid for these and I didn't really double check. I didn't check the backs of them and they were a bit, they're quite worn and scrappy. And I um, got 12 quid for those with free shipping. So, you know, made a few pounds on them, but, but pleased just to get rid of them really because they were in really poor condition. This is my best sale of the weekend. This is this really nice pair of men's lokes. I think I picked up last weekend for three pounds. Had the one at 50 quid, so I made an offer of 40 pounds and I accepted that. And the amount of stuff I've got, I can't really be sort of hanging on to try and get sort of top end on certain things. So 40 pounds was great for them. People often ask me how do I send stuff and post things. Um, trainers like this, which are soft or, you know, ones like that will just go in a poly bag. Something like this, which is in really good condition. I don't want the sort of the leather to get scratched up. I will sort of post in a in an old shoe box or in a, a box that I've got, so that's how they'll get posted. These Vans Zapato, Zapato, Zapato or something like that, I've had these again for quite a while, they're in really good condition. They just didn't sell in the winter last year, but in the summer they've sold nicely, so I got 20 quid for those. Uh, California Games on the uh, Master System, got 7 quid for that, which is great. Microsoft Office Student and Teacher Edition, um, £15 for that one. Someone emailed me to say if it didn't work, um, would I accept a refund, which obviously I, I would. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that all goes through and that works nicely because all the other uh, software I've sold has been fine. We had to train your dragon. I had this at 15 quid or 16 quid or something. Popped it down to 14 quid and that's sold. Haven't paid a couple of pounds for that one. Uh, Claymates on the SNES, I got £7.50 for that, and then that got, it's going to it's going overseas because there's £3.50 international shipping on top of that as well. So, yep, that was a good sale. Please, for that one. Neil Diamond got four quid for this, is Ultimate Collection. Again, I say every video, I don't really do much on CDs, but I paid 10p for all these sort of CDs. So, you know, I don't know enough to sort of really know what I'm looking for, but, you know, Ultimate Collections special editions all that sort of stuff i'll pick that up i'll pick up stuff that looks comp looks looks rare and if there's any value in it if it's sort of three four pounds i'll sell it by itself everything else i'll sell it to magpie or in bundles so yeah pleased with that and then lastly this little game it's not a particularly good game at all um on the game boy i got two pound sixty with free shipping for that so really by the time you take off the 90p in the paypal and all the rest of it there's about I don't know, about 80p in that. But that's fine, that's part of a bundle, I'm just selling those on. So, yeah, a few sales over the weekend, but say nothing nothing particularly great. In terms of these match attacks, I went through them and I took out the ones which were worth sort of looking at. Now, you've got sort of different sorts of things. You've got star players, um, and there's not a great amount of money in those. There's a load of star players in there. Uh, new signings. People sell these ones by themselves. I don't know if these are ones which are added later on to the set or something. I don't really know. Or these club captains and they're not particularly valuable either but if ever you're looking through a big stack of match attacks um, at the car boot sale or something like that what you want to do is you want to look on this right hand side of the card on the left hand side it's just going to have their names but on the right hand side it might have this new signing this star player club captain man of the match player of the match, all those sorts of things that's where you want to look and that will tell you the one straight away i mean obviously some of them are shiny and it but sometimes it's not always easy to spot that, but you almost want to look on the right-hand side, and they're the ones which have got a bit more value. These ones do have a bit, do have some value. These are the man of the match ones. People sell these individually, like the Ronaldo one, people sell for about four quid. Um, or you can sell them, as, again, as a bundle. I might just sell Ronaldo maybe individually and then sell all the rest of them as a bundle and try and make almost the money back on that I spent on those, which I should, should do, having spent five quid on all of them and all the binders. And there's a couple of other slightly different ones, these player of the month ones. And then these limited edition ones. Again, these sell reasonably well. You can even do them by themselves, but I might just do them as a bundle. Um, I've got, yeah, Stephen Ireland, Man City, Nicholas Anelka and... Fernando Torres. So, I mean, if I'm really honest, I'm still learning a little bit as I go on these, but having looked up things, looked at prices and stuff like that, it seems that's the perhaps the way to sell them. I might just sort of sell those star players together, the new signings and the club captains, and then do some of these ones individually if it's worth picking them out, these man of the matches, but they're the ones which have got a bit of value, so that's nice. And then these three and these two probably just do as, uh, just in pairs and as a trio there. So... I'll let you know how those go. I know lots of people do do match tax. So I say it's something that I've not, I've not done a huge amount of in the past. But yeah, I'll keep you posted with how the sales go for that. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good week. I hope if you went out at the weekend, you picked up lots of stuff. I decided not to go out on the Sunday. I've, yeah, I've not done as many videos as I like to. I keep on promising these extra videos about certain things. But I'm just so snowed under with 
photographing and getting it listed and sorting this is sort of the, the last thing on the priority i'm afraid but i will keep doing some and i'll keep you posted if things go well um yeah anyway that that's that's it so sorry sorry it's not been loads of videos over the weekend and stuff like that i keep promising ones about i've got a load of brio and i've got a big um ps2 bundle i picked up when i, when I get around to listing it and sorting it i might i might do a video as well but that's that and yeah good luck everybody cheers guys bye